Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video I want to show you how to build a body camera with Android. So for this I have a Samsung Galaxy S3, external battery, and a strap to mount it to my body. Um, so for this software you're going to use, we're going to be using Autoboy, and this is a dash cam car recorder. But the nice thing about it is it records over itself and it records for as long as you have memory, which is max 64 gigabytes of micro SD card space or internal storage if you have that much. So what I do is I set it at 480p because it's not about quality, it's about encoding what actually happened. So it's more like security footage. So you want clear audio and you know viewable quality and a small size because you have to store this. So if you have it at 480p, it'll be about 14 gigabytes for let's say a 10 hour period so you can roughly get probably well you can do the math but it's not a ton of storage now if you update it to 720p your storage I think goes up to 60 gigabytes or 70 gigabytes for one day which gets very large so you'd only want to do that when you have something very important happening so let's go ahead and see what's going on here so we have Autoboy automatically recording um, video as soon as we turn on the phone and I use this external battery because again I want it to be on for 14 hours or you know through a through a waking day so um, I charge it at night and so we here I have this 10,000 milliamp anchor external battery now I've tried other batteries and I'll go into that later um, but here's I have it hooked up so you go ahead and take you have it with velcro and I use the back camera um, only because I have to mount the battery on the back for Velcro because if I put the battery on the front um, then I couldn't see the screen which but here's the thing like you might say well why don't you do this and use the front camera since you're only recording at 480p the reason is is because when it's on your waist it gives more bounce having this as a um, you know giving it a leverage or a fulcrum I'm not sure I'm using the right word but you understand what I'm saying where the weight is on this end and there's a point in the middle that makes it shake more so that's why I have to use the um, back camera here so I just hook this on with velcro and then I hook up my external battery through just a six inch anchor power line cord um, and so now I have enough power for you know I think this lasts about 30 hours so that's plenty of time you can always grab another external battery um, so here's how I have it set up and then I'll go ahead and I put it inside this strap here which is just a running waistband um, that you can find on my AliExpress, eBay. Um, they're just to hold your phone while you run so you can listen to music. And that's originally what I got it for, but I realized it's actually just a good you know, mount if you're not mounting a GoPro, um, if you're mounting a smartphone. So here we have our phone, and we go ahead and um, it records with the screen off. Go ahead and put it in our running here, and just go ahead and zip this up here. And here it is, and it records like this, and you just strap it around your waist, and it'll record like this for 30 hours if you let it. And you, again, you can change the quality and everything, and let's go ahead and weigh this and see how much this weighs. So, I'll turn on the scale here, and we are in grams, and it weighs 354 grams. So, I think that's like less than a pound. Um, maybe about one pound, so it's not very heavy at all. Um, so some of the things I tried to get here while I was trying to build this. Um, so originally I started out with a, a Note 3. And the problem with the Note 3 is it's just too big. I mean, I love the Note 3 for everything, but it had a really hard time fitting in the case here, and it was just way too big. I might still go back to a Note 3, but that's um, something else to talk about later. So I started with the Note 3. That was too big. Then I went down to the S4 Mini, so it could be small. Now, the S4 Mini is a perfect size, but the problem with the S4 Mini is, is it doesn't have OTG support. Um, so when I want to take my files and go ahead and transfer them over to my external hard drive through OTG, which I'll show you in the video, um, I can't do it through this device, and trust me, do, or just don't try to go through Wi-Fi or SMB or auto syncs or anything. It's just absolutely painfully horrible. Um, so the other thing I tried is, okay, I can't have a smaller phone smaller than the S3, what about a smaller battery? So I tried this Anchor, what is this called, Anchor Astro Mini 3000 milliamps, but 3000 wasn't enough. And I also tried a Morphe Juice Pack on my S3 just to reduce size, and again, none of that worked. It needed the 10,000 milliamp um, Anchor battery. So 
Now you might say, why don't you use just a GoPro or an action camera? And the reason why is because this is, it doesn't have the computer built inside. So having it record continuously is a pain in the butt. Um, you can't just plug it in and, you know, transfer all the files over from the phone. I'd rather, it, it would work, but it'd look weird. And I'd rather just deal with an Android phone than use an action camera. So let's go ahead and um, see how it works syncing through um, syncing through OTG. And I will have a reference video file in the description. So if you want to see what the video looks like, I'll do that too. Um, so you're going to need to unplug the um, external battery. And here I have a Anchor Power Core Fusion, so it's actually a power brick and a battery. So this will work. And then I have a powered OTG connector, again, with a laptop, external hard drive. Um, so I will plug this into my phone here, and I'll stop recording. And I, you can automate all this with Tasker 2. I just haven't gotten it nailed down enough yet where I'm not sure exactly what phone I want. I might go back to the Note 3 and have it work just continuously perfect every time. Then I could automate it with Tasker where I just plug it in, it automatically transfers over the files, um, deletes the old files and turns itself off and be ready in the next morning when I don't even charge this phone, I just use my external battery. Um, but again, that's farther off and I haven't gotten that far yet. It needs to be more reliable first. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in here and we'll see hopefully OTG can up because that's one problem is OTG is giving me a little bit of issues because of all these cords and everything and it's never that stable to begin with. Okay, so this is working this time. Um, it works, I'd say, well, I don't know, I'm still working on that, but I think it depends on the cords here. So, here I have USB mass storage I can access. So, I've already made use ES File Explorer to make a shortcut to my um, Autoboy folder. So, I'm going to go ahead and refresh that because there should be a video in there. Okay, there's not. But let's go ahead and say that we want to transfer file over, and I'll go ahead and bring that up. All right, sorry for the delay. The S3 is a really slow phone. This is again why I'd rather use the Note 3. So let's go ahead and pretend my downloads folder here is actually all my video recorded files because I've already transferred over, you know, all my files um, for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and select all these with the ES File Explorer and then go to More and then Move To. And then I'm going to go back. And then I'm gonna use my, access my USB drive A, which is my external hard drive here. Then I've made it a folder called Video Body Camera. I'm going to access that. And then um, here I have Days, and I'll just create a new Day folder. So here I'll do, um, I'll say it's, you know, YouTube, and I'll press OK. Here I have the folder. And I'll open the folder, and I'll press OK, and it'll transfer the files over to the external hard drive. Um, so it should work. Again, that's the problem is there's just a little bit of issues just to iron out, and they almost all come from being an S3 and not a Note 3. And I don't mean a Note 3 like, because I wouldn't want to use this on Marshmallow or Lollipop. I'd only use this on KitKat or Jelly Bean because of the SD card restrictions of the higher Android versions. So I'm not saying like the Note 3 like you'd want to use like a Marshmallow Note 3. No, I'm saying Note 3 as in using KitKat Note 3 4.4.2. So you can see it transferred over here. And um, so that's on this hard drive now, and it is working. So let's say, for example, I would want to pull up this hard drive on my computer, just to um, show that it works. And all this can be automated with Tasker, all the file movement and everything. Um, so let me go ahead and unplug this external hard drive. Um, move this the S3 out of the way because it's not needed right now. I'll unplug the hard drive from the powered OTG, and I'll bring up just a. Um, old T420 and um, wake it up here and go ahead and plug in the hard drive and show you that it does work. So I'm going to find a USB port. Um, I think there's one in the back here. Oh, and the other thing I do is I always use Velcro and everything so I can go ahead and put this hard drive on the back of my laptop and, um, you know, access it that way. So here we go. And the hard drive will pull up, and I'll go ahead and pull up some video here. And you'll notice the video does shake if you go to the description and see the video files. Um, oh, my hard drive's not coming up. I wonder why. Maybe that's not, oh, that's not a powered USB port. Okay, got it. So he needs to go over, oh, my USB ports. Oh, they're right here. Okay, cool. He needs to go over here to a powered USB port. There we go. Um, let's see, refresh, there we go, here it is, just came up. 
Um, so here I'm going to go into my folder. Now, again, this is an old computer. The screen's not that great. Let me just turn the brightness up here. And I'll turn my other lights off so it'll focus. Um, let's see here. There we go. And let's use Windows 10 to turn my brightness up. So that should be in battery. And increase the brightness. Here we are. Um, let me go ahead and do this. So you can see I'm on my computer here. I have all the data I need. Um, so let's go ahead and let me pause it, make sure everything's okay. All right, so I've just pulled up a random day here, which you can see is 11, 18, um, 17. And you can see here that I'm just at my table that I'm at now. And let me go ahead and uh, And you can see that it works here. And this is just all day, every day. Um, so it's just a good use of Android. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, then leave them below. So 